Hello, welcome to the Liberated Multitasker. Today I thought I'd bring you just a short video on a sheet pan chicken fajita meal. So come join me. We're going to start off by preheating our oven to 425 degrees. Now we're just going to drizzle some olive oil on our sheet pan. This meal is going to only take 25 minutes to cook. Now I have three bell peppers. I have a yellow, an orange, and a red already sliced. So we're just going to sprinkle those out on our pan. And next, I've sliced one red onion. I've cut it in half and just sliced that up and I've pulled those pieces apart and just sprinkling them on top of the sheet pan. Now I have about a pound and a half of chicken tenders. I'm going to salt and pepper these before I add them to my pan. Now we're just going to lay these on top of the vegetables. The only thing I'm going to try to do is not to have the chicken laying on top of each other. I want to make sure that it cooks well and gets done. If you're needing something quick and easy, this is the meal for you. Now I've got one packet of fajita mix and I'm just going to sprinkle this on top. Now this is where I deviate from the recipe. The recipe has a, a several different spices and I'm just going to use a packet. Now I'm adding about three teaspoons of minced garlic. I'm just using my hands. I'm going to mix all this up together to get all those seasonings on all of the chicken and the vegetables. Now once I'm done mixing all this together, I'm going to spread it back out evenly on the pan. The vegetables, the onions, and the chicken, making sure the chicken's not touching so that it all gets well done. Just about done here. Now I've decided just to add just a little bit more olive oil. Now I'm going to be waiting for my oven to come up to temperature. If you've never tried this, this is super easy, quick, and it is really good. Now my oven has come up to temperature, so I'm going to put it in the oven and bake it on 425 degrees for about 25 minutes. Now it's been 25 minutes, I'm going to cut my oven off. I'm going to pull out the sheet pan and I'm going to use a meat thermometer and make sure that my chicken is 165 degrees internal temperature. Doesn't that look so good? I will link this recipe below along with this thermometer and the sheet pan. I'm just checking several different pieces and they are good and done. Now I'm going to add about two tablespoons of lime juice. Now you can add cilantro if you want to. I don't have any, so I'm going to leave that out. Now we're almost ready to prepare our fajitas. I'm going to be using low carb wraps. You use your favorite. And then I am just about ready to plate mine up. I'm going to put it on a wrap and add a little touch of sour cream. And it's going to be so delicious. Just look at that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you soon.